Hey guys, welcome back to Kimball's Corner. So today, as you can see, I have my carbon paper. I have my Jane Davenport paper pad. And I have some Ohuhu markers, a ballpoint pen, my Jane Davenport finishing line pens, my Ohuhu marker color guide, and this is my Illo sketchbook with a circle drawn in it. I know, jumping the gun. So what I figured I would do is I found a photo online that I liked and I drew a quick sketch of it and marker guide. So here's the sketch I did. So what I'm gonna do is transfer this sketch using the carbon paper into my Illo sketchbook. And then I'm gonna use this paper pad and I'm gonna cut it out to make her turtleneck, her gigantic turtleneck. And then she's just gonna be done in inks and I'll probably fill her hair in, I want her hair black, so it'll probably just be black marker. And then this part will be yellow. And basically I used this and I like, kind of held it on the edge here just, just to see what colors I liked. And I went with yellow because that's what I liked. I might actually do a warmer yellow. I went with Y3, but I think I'm gonna do Y2. And it's sitting right here. So I'm gonna pull that out and put this one away. And I'll probably skip through quite a bit of this because like I'm just tracing and transferring my work onto another thing. So uh, let's get started. Yeah, that looks good. Didn't really plan this part out. I'm not too concerned with how hard I press just because I am gonna go over it with pen. So hopefully it all just looks good in the end. Doesn't need to be perfect. All right, so that is good enough for me to work from. So now, I'm going to take this. And draw her turtleneck on this paper so I can cut it out later. And I really like this area here. So I want that to be in it the most. Alrighty, got that part out of the way. I'm gonna set this aside until later. And I'm going to get this part inked. And I am totally caffeinated right now, so inking probably isn't the best idea, but what are you gonna do? Is it this one that I like? It is, but it's the bigger version. Is it this one? Yes. Alrighty. Get in there and ink. All right, I'm debating if I wanna do a black line around the circle or if I just wanna do like a yellow circle. I, th I think I'm gonna try and just do it clear or without a black line first and see where I, see if I can pull it off. Hmm, do I wanna give her hair some highlights? That's a question I didn't think to ask myself. Yeah, just a couple of subtle highlights, nothing major. And I can add some more fine hairs in in a minute. I'm gonna do the yellow first and then I'm gonna cut out her top. All right, now that I got that done, I'm going to proceed to cut out this. And the nice thing about this is that the edges are perforated. 
and uh, I'm gonna kind of just speed through this. Now I like to use two-sided tape when putting things down. I'm not sure why, I just think it's easier, it's smoother. I have a little more control over it. And since I'm not working over the top of this with like paints or anything, I don't need to use something like gesso or matte medium or whatever it is that people use. And yes, I just realized I didn't need to put tape right there. <laughs> Whoops! I don't like that I got carbon all over the page. Ooh, she's looking good. Now I'm gonna go back over with the pen. I'm gonna use the bigger version of the other pen that I had, just cause I'm gonna do some thick lines around her new cutout thing. Hmm, wasn't planning on this. Okay, I'm gonna work it out now. All right, now, oh, I'm really bummed about the uh, carbon. I don't have like an amazing eraser up here. But, ooh, got it. There was just some smudges on her face that I was not loving. And I think I'm gonna leave the yellow without a border. So I'm just gonna erase that. I had a really faint pencil line there. Don't know if you could see it. And of course I had to mess up right there. Let's see if I can smooth that out. Or just ruin it all right now. Yeah, I got it good enough. Well, I like her. It was so much faster than I thought it was gonna be. This part is beautiful, if I do say so myself. And of course, I mean, I can't take all the credit for that because I would say 95% of that was Jane's paper, but I cut it out and made it look like that. So yeah, I guess that's it, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me. It was fun doing a nice graphic piece. What is this on the corner? Get off, get off, yeah, it's there for good, whatever. So, all right, that's it. Wow, it went really fast. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please give it a try. It's super easy. Like, you just draw a big head, do a neck piece. That's all. All right, you guys, thank you so much for joining me, and I will see you next time when we do something else. I don't know what's gonna be, but it's gonna be fun. Cause that's, this is just fun for me. So take care, stay safe, stay healthy. And uh, yeah, I'll see you uh, next time. Can I say it one more time? I'll see you guys next time, but, but like next time. Are we gonna, you guys, next time? Maybe, all right, okay, bye.